In this video, we're going to learn about depreciation, what it is and how it's calculated. Depreciation is the systematic allocation of depreciable amount of an asset over its useful life. I know, that's a whole lot of words. Does that make any sense to you? Let's go through this in simpler terms. We all know what plant, property and equipment are. Buildings, vehicles, machinery. Basically assets which will be controlled by your business beyond the next 12 months, which helps to generate income. Now, let's use the example of a motel. Items that would depreciate in value, namely the plant, property and equipment, for this motel could include the motel building itself, room furniture, cleaning equipment and so on. What happens is that for every year an asset is being used by the business, it also loses its future economic benefit. Take note though, as much as land is considered a plant property and equipment, it does not depreciate in value. In fact, sometimes it actually increases in value over time. Of course, as each asset loses its economic benefits, it causes the business to lose money. This would mean that depreciation is an expense. The type of expense, however, is determined by the asset itself. Depreciation can either be a distribution cost or an administrative expense. In case you've forgotten, distribution costs are expenses dealing with things like promotion, delivery and storage of a business service and inventory, and administrative expenses are expenses incurred from everyday operations of the business. Going back to our motel's example of plant, property and equipment, we can take the building and obviously categorise that as being an administrative expense, whereas things like furniture and cleaning equipment would be classified as a distribution cost. So now we know what depreciation is and the types of expenses we can categorise it into. But how do we calculate depreciation? A common and simple method used is called the straight line method. There are two ways to calculate straight line depreciation, and each is dependent on the information you are provided with. The first method is when you have the cost of the item and the rate of depreciation. And the second is when you know the cost of the items, the expected life of the item, and the item's value after its useful life. Back to the motel example, Let's say that we know that the motel building was bought for $180,000. Every year, its value depreciates at a rate of 4%. What we would do is take that historical cost of $180,000 and multiply that by 4% to get a yearly depreciation amount of $7,200. Of course, since it's a building, this $7,200 would be recorded as an administrative expense. How about if we knew that the motel furniture cost at $20,000, which was planned to be kept for six years? How would you find the yearly depreciation amount if you knew the value of the furniture will be 2000 after six years? We would take the historical cost of $20,000 and minus it by the expected residual value of $2,000 and divide that by the estimated life of six years. From that, we would get $3,000 for the depreciation amount. Don't forget, furniture isn't an administrative expense. It's a distribution cost. So now you should know what depreciation is. It is the systematic allocation of depreciable amount of an asset over its useful life. 